Hi, in this video, I'm going to show you how to create a church website using WebStarts. WebStarts is everything you need to create your very own website, including your domain name, hosting, and your design tools. The first step is choosing your design. To do that, click on the Sign Up Now, It's Free button. Notice that I have several designs that I can choose from. The features in these designs are not limited to, but include contact form, online giving, blog, sermon archive, and prayer requests. I'm going to select this template to get started. In this step, I enter my name and my email address. Choose a password. Verify that I'm a human. And click sign up. Now it's time for me to choose a web address. I can choose to use a free.webstarts.com address, or I can choose my very own top-level domain name, like myownwebsite.com. For this demonstration, I'm going to choose a free webstarts.com address, so I'm just going to choose church-website.webstarts.com. If you're stuck on this step, you can always click Choose Later. I'm going to click Continue. Let's get that Getting Started video out of the way. Now my site thumbnail is being generated. Notice here on the dashboard view, I have a link to my site, a button that says Add Domain Upgrade, and then a button that says Edit Site. To begin editing the contents of your website, click that Edit Site button. On my site, I have several features that are specific to churches. For example, I have a calendar, I have sermons, online giving, prayer requests, and then I have about contact and blog. Those are all my different pages. If I go to one of those pages, for example, my online giving page, I can see that I have an online giving form that allows somebody to enter their name, email address, comments, as well as an amount that they would like to donate. To configure that, all you need to do is double click on that element, just like any element in the Web Starts Editor. And then you can click on Form Settings and do things like change the email where you'd like to receive the form submissions. You can also add and remove fields, as well as change the field names. So maybe you don't want to collect donors' names and you want it to be anonymous, then you could do that. Uh, down here, if you click on the Payment field, you can choose to allow people to enter a variable price, so any donation amount they want, or you can select a fixed price, in which case you would enter the amount that you would like them to donate. When you're ready, you just click Update Form if you want to update that online giving form. One other thing about the online giving form is that you'll want to be sure in the payment field to enter your PayPal payment email address. That's where you'll receive any donations collected from your online giving form. Going to prayer requests, I have another form that asks for your name, email address, prayer request, and then there's a submit button. And just like with the online giving form, you can double click on that and you can change things like, for example, the field names and the fields that you're asking for on the prayer request form. You can view your form submissions by double-clicking on a form, clicking Form Settings, and then choosing the dates that you would like to look at submissions for or between, and click View Submissions. I don't have any submissions yet on this form, so it's not returning any results. Moving over to Online Sermons, the Sermon Archive is built using the Playlist the playlist consists of any of the audio files that you've made from your sermon. You can upload those by clicking on the upload option. And then once they're uploaded, you can arrange them. Uh, for example, let me just upload an audio file. Just like this one here. It takes a few mo moments to upload, but once the audio file is uploaded and processed, you can select it and add it to that playlist. 
Next you can click on this camera icon and then you can choose some artwork for it. You can choose to either get a piece of artwork that you've uploaded from your local computer or you can find something on your Facebook account if you connect that to Web Starts or you can find something using the image search function. Notice you can name that sermon anything you want and then you can click update and then of course you can rearrange your sermons and so on and so forth so you just add another second file here and I click update and that updates my little player I can choose to do things like display the cover image by clicking on the settings cog and then choosing that option you can also do things like change the background color of the player itself as well as some of the style options like for example if I'd like that to appear with a flat look as always be sure to click save to save and publish your changes notice also you have a blog to create your first blog post just double click in the area where it says create your first blog post then click new you can add a blog title the author name and then you can just write your story or you can insert either an image or video uh, as well into your blog posts. When you're ready you can save those blog posts as a draft and publish them later or you can just click publish post and they'll be published right away. I didn't add any content to my blog so it wasn't published. Once you're finished and you'd like to share your website with the rest of the world I recommend clicking on add domain and then adding a top level domain name to your site so if I wanted to let's say for example say adams-church-website.com and click continue then it will say whether or not it's available which it is and then I'm prompted to choose a subscription plan for web starts once I pay for my subscription that domain name will be automatically configured to work with my website and then I can share that web address adams-church-website.com with whoever I'd like to go to my website of course that would be your domain name if you were building your site that's it for this video hope you enjoyed it don't forget to visit webstarch.com to create your very own church website and also any other type of website that you may need